Hi guys, welcome back to another Seb Shirts video and today I have a purchase I've made off of eBay and Depop and these two are some of the best shirts I've ordered probably this year so uh, yeah let's, let's get straight to the video. Don't forget if you're new around here hit that subscribe and hit the like button everything helps out and yeah we're trying to hit 500 subs before the end of the year so if you can hit that sub count it will make you very happy indeed. In these two bags here are two shirt purchases I recently made. Uh, one on Depop and one on eBay. I was going to make them into separate videos, but I can't be bothered. So <laughs> I'm doing them both now because I want them both now as well. So I can't be asked to wait uh, to get them separately. So um, we're going to open them up. Right, technically I've already opened them up because I need to check what they were. So we're going to take them out of the bag and I'm going to show you guys what shirts they are and uh, how much I bought them for. So yeah, you guys excited because I'm excited to see them. Start with this one first. So the dresses or anything like that. And you know you guess what it is, I'm gonna give you a clue guys, it's South Africa. And it is Kaiser Chiefs Hope shirt. Yes, this is the one and only Kaiser Chiefs uh, home shirt from 2014. And yeah, it's a lovely simple design on there. In a size medium, this one is the one I got off eBay and it was for measly around £11 I think, but I have to double check that, but yeah, £11, size medium, perfect, perfect size for me, and yeah, uh, it's authentic, already checked, obviously I'm not going all the ones that I don't think are authentic, but yeah, lovely, I, I have had one in the past, but I'm not swapping it with my dad, so yeah, it's nice to get one back in the collection, but yeah, lovely shirt, if I was going to end up rating this shirt, I'd probably give it a nice solid 7 out of 10, it's not the most spectacular shirt in the world, but yeah, it's always classy to add another country to the collection and I don't have actually tell I do have several countries because I have a Lord and Ando one. <sighs> oh, like a pirate shirt, but yes, it's very nice to add another Kaiser Chiefs to this collection. Of course, they're a band named after them. Big up the Kaiser Chiefs. And yeah, lovely first shot shirt. What do you think, guys? Do you like it? I quite like it. I have 11 pounds. I'm not complaining at all. So yeah, very good, very nice. Very good, very nice, one pound. Did. Here is the second parcel, and as you can see, you might be able to see through there that the branding on that. I won't give it away. This one is. I'm very excited to buy this one to collect because I've wanted, a, wanted one of these for a while. Here it is, guys, little Kappa. And it is a AS Monaco Kappa, vintage Kappa, pretty sure it's 999 2000 home shirt. And yes, I, I, I love this Kappa taping down the arm, and I'm like. The new Kappa shirts, they're not tight fitting as hell. Um, I'm yet to try this on because it was small, but judging by the measurements, um, like the pit pit is around the same as a modern day medium, so hopefully it'll fit. If it's if it doesn't, I'll be very sad. I usually wear to a medium to large. This shirt is an extra large, uh, but this is a small, but football shirts you never know really, do you? Some, some extra large I've got fit smaller than some larges I've got, so yeah, it's all up to it, but yeah, I'm so happy to pick this one up this cost me 35 pounds which i think is a pretty good it's a more expensive one for me i know that 35 pounds doesn't sound a lot at all especially for a shirt that's over 20 years old but especially good i don't if i'm buying from like depop ebay or something i try to get them as cheap and good deal as possible but even 35 pounds i think this is a great deal um and yeah i love it i love that taping on there as i've said already i've wanted this for a while it's been one of my bucket list to get a vintage monaco shirt even a vintage capper shirt in general is one i've really wanted for a while and yeah so glad to pick this up and yeah i've got this one on depop and yeah what do you think guys which one's your favorite out of the two this one's definitely my favorite out of the two i originally bought the guys chief was a sale but i think i'm probably gonna keep it um but i might do it or I might have it up for a trade or something but yeah this definitely is a keeper if it fits um so let's let's try it on and see if it fits shall we yeah three two one here it is guys, and yeah, it's slightly tighter fitting than I usually like, but it fits me. This is what I'm saying, is always ask for those measurements on these shirts before you buy them, because you can't always just go off what you think it's going to fit from, because obviously, even vintage shirts fit slightly higher, so usually if it's 90s and it's a small, it's usually going to fit small to a medium usually anyway. But yeah, as you can see guys, it fits me. I love it. I'm very happy with that, as you can tell by my my smile, I'm very happy with that purchase. And yeah, what do you guys think? I love it. Love it. So let's see if the other one fits. This just further reinforces the size thing. This is a medium and it feels tighter. 
like, especially up on the shoulders here. It fits. I would prefer it slightly baggier. If I find this in a large, I'll probably get an upgrade. But that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. This is a medium. Granted, small bottles generally tend to fit more accurately to the size, I guess. Um, but I usually get a larger model size, so this is a bit smaller. But that's what I'm saying. That Monaco one is a small, but it fits nicer than this. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know. I'll, I'm feeling mixed about the fitting on this. Um, always feel mixed about Nike shirts. Like, no, I prefer it a bit more baggy. But yeah. Uh, I might have up the sale or not. I don't know. I'll see how I feel in like a week or so, but I'm probably going to take it off because quite hot in here and I don't want to wear a bag uh, a tiny bit shirt so I'm just gonna change and there you have it guys there's my two latest football shirts I've purchased which one do you guys prefer do you prefer this lovely oh sleeves tucked in Oops, okay, we get there would you prefer this lovely vintage number or are you more of a modern rarity is that more your cup of tea? Let me know down in the comments which one do you prefer. Which one do you think is the bargain of the video? I think this definitely was the bargain of the video. Um, and I think the Monaco one is just a nicer shirt in general. Actually, you know what? Shall, I, shall we look? Let's go on the PC and uh, have a look at the price to see how much I've got for bargain. I nearly forgot this part of the video. I haven't done one of these opening videos in a while, have I? So um, we should probably go have a look. And how much I could get them online instead of I'll get them from like, like normal retail, like classic little shirts. So yeah, let's go have a look. Just done a little bit of research here, just to see how much these are going for on a, on the major online retailers. And this Monaco home shirt from 2000 um, is actually, as you can see here, on classic football shirts on PC Barbie, and I'll stick up a bigger picture. It's going for 89.99. Granted, we have to take a pinch of salt, obviously big online retailer I'm not going to get that much for it and they've got a large which tends to be a more desirable size this is a small but fits as a medium um, so I'd, I'd probably say £35 a bargain for this I'd probably expect around 50 to 60 um, on a normal reseller market because it is in great condition I can't really see much wrong with it um, the main fault probably there's a tiny see it's not spoiled I'm just pointing uh, there is a pull one tiny pull there but for a shirt that's 20 years old, you kind of expect some tiny bits of wear on it, but yeah, I think that's a proper bargain in classic football shirts. I'm selling it for a lot more, so I think we've got a bargain in. Classic football shirts have not sold uh, the Cars Chief home shirt from this season, this bad boy here. They have sold the away one, um, but they don't have the price list on the website, so I've no idea what they sold that one for. Uh, vintage football shirts, however, did have this shirt up here, and they sold it for £25. It is currently sold out. Um, you have to also take one picture so as this shirt as you can see I'll shove closer on screen is got a massive stain on the middle of the shirt and it's still got 25 quid for it I paid 11 pounds for mine that one's a large this one's a medium so you know probably in the same price like ballpark region um, I'd say mine's worth more because just simply as it's in a lot better condition I can't really see any faults on this at all there's not really any pulls the Vodafone, Vodafone sponsor there it's in perfect condition even the neck tag you can tell something's been worn a lot by the neck tag and that's pretty much intact um, the seller did say they bought barely worn it they've only worn it a couple of times since they bought it um, so yeah um, this one's in great condition I'd probably say this is more 35 40 pound shirt so that's the 25 that's that's got a massive stain on it so yeah 11 pounds I think is also a bargain granted I wouldn't sell them for the same price as those if I was to sell this I'd probably sell it for about 25 like that one just because I'm not a big online reseller. I have a Depop link down in the description if you want to check out my shirts. I've been selling for around two years now. Full five stars, sold over 200 items. So if you do want to check that out, link will be in the description and my Instagram will also be there. So once again, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Which shirt is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. I love interacting with you guys. Um, it brings me a big smile that people actually watch the videos, take their time to watch them. So yeah, big thank you to everyone who watches the videos. That's all for today. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.